Your doctor has recommended scleral lenses, but what are they exactly? In this episode of OcuTalk, optometrist James Schweiger tells us about what they are, what makes them different from other contact lenses, how they are fitted, and what the care process looks like. Dr. Schweiger? Hello and welcome to OcuTalk. Today we're going to be talking to optometrist James Schweiger. Dr. Schweiger, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me. To get us started, why don't you tell us a little bit about your practice and your background? Uh, hi, I'm uh, Dr. James Schweiger. I'm an optometrist from Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, I'm originally from Ed Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. I uh, went to school at Midwestern University, uh, graduated in 2017. Since then, I've been practicing within the Valley, um, mainly focusing on personalized eye care. I have a passion for fitting scleral lenses and other types of specialty contact lenses as well. And uh, I, I, I don't know what else to say. I'm kind of rambling now. <laughs> no, no, it's wonderful to hear that kind of background information. And it's perfect timing because we were hoping today you could talk to our audience about scleral lenses. What exactly are scleral lenses? So scleral lenses are a, um, a little bit different of a contact lens um, in, in design. So they are a larger, rigid, bold-shaped lens with um, a much more highly uh, oxygen permeable material. Um, it allows oxygen to flow through the lens to the tissues underneath. We use uh, this design because it is able to um, instead of contacting the cornea, it's, uh, it's able to work a little bit more separate and independent from the cornea um, and uh, gently land onto the white part of the eye called the sclera. Um, uh, in patients with irregular uh, visual parts of their eye called the cornea, um, uh, you know, this can be very useful because it's, we're able to actually correct for a lot of vision problems. The lens um, is, like, like I said, it is a bowl-shaped lens. Um, so we, we use a fluid to uh, create a reservoir of tears between the actual lens and the patient's cornea. This allows to kind of create a much more better refractive surface to the eye and create um, a lot better vision um, and comfort for the patient because uh, the patients are able to bathe their eye in a, in a solution of tears throughout the duration of wear. Okay, so what types of patients need scleral lenses? Who would you recommend them to as far as uh, what their eyes are being treated for, or uh, what conditions are scleral lenses recommended for? Yeah, so, uh, you know, in my my personal opinion, I would say, you know, any patient really could be a, a great scleral lens uh, candidate, um, but there are uh, um, many specific uses that, uh, more common uses we use them for. Um, any patients, uh, like I said before, who have more an irregularity to their cornea can definitely benefit from these. The most common probably patient we see um, is from a degenerative kind of uh, eye condition called keratoconus, where the eye becomes progressively more thin on the inferior portion of the cornea, causing more of a cone-shaped eye. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, the conditions like this can lead to scarring and vision loss even. Um, and because of this unique shape to the cornea, um, you know, other kinds of contact lenses typically uh, don't work as well because they're not able to be as stable to correct vision. Um, uh, we have, you know, there's even patients who have had maybe injuries to their eyes causing scarring, um, patients who have had um, surgeries to their eyes like RK surgery or even corneal grafts to their eyes um, can definitely benefit from this because uh, anytime you change to the shape of your eye with surgery, um, that creates a more unique shape, um, which standard lenses aren't able to correct for perfectly. Um, 
as I said before, you know, these lenses uh, literally are kind of a fluid filled bowl. Um, the, this high quality um, uh, preservative free saline solution that's used in between the lens and the eye is uh, very hydrating to the corneal tissues of the eyes, helping to um, treat a lot of dry eye uh, problems with the eyes. Um, in Arizona, you know, uh, we, we have a, a specific climate, a very dry, hot, arid desert climate here. So extreme dryness is definitely not something that is uncommon here. Um, we see a lot of patients with extreme ble blepharitis, dry eye condition, uh, really bad dryness, um, really bad ocular allergies, um, even some inflammatory conditions like um, Sjogren's syndrome, Steven Johnson syndrome can be um, uh, very, uh, these, these lenses can be very useful tools to helping curb um, a lot of dry eye concerns because it's again, you know, bathing the tissues in solution, but also creating a barrier from the environment. So are there different types of scleral lenses? Yeah, absolutely there are. Um, you know, there's many different companies that make scleral lenses. And uh, some, uh, some use different types of um, methods in which to fit. Um, you know, typically nowadays, uh, we have kind of more of a, a diagnostic um, approach to fitting scleral lenses and then a more of an empiric method. Um, the more diagnostic method is, uses, uh, you know, quadra specific or toric lenses to match uh, the shape of patients more elliptical eyeballs. Um, and these are great, uh, great for um, more mild cases, more normal shaped eyes or mild forms of keratoconus. Um, you you uh, fit these from a trial set and you uh, basically go one lens after another, trying to tailor a lens and find ones that fit, fit really well to the patient. Um, there are other types and methods for fitting sterile lenses too. We have more scan fit lenses, uh, scanned lenses, um, or impression based lenses. So, you know, the scan fit lenses, you would uh, take a corneal scleral topography of the patient and then design a lens based on that, those parameters for the patient to fit. Um, impression based lenses are another exciting one. Um, this, uh, this would be the iPrint Pro technology. Um, this one, uh, just like kind of taking a dental impression, your uh, patient's eyeballs are actually have an impression mold casted. And uh, these molds are then sent to the lab to digitally replicate the shape of the patient's eyes so that, again, um, uh, the perfect designed lens can be um, uh, created for the patient. These, these last two options are a little bit more advanced in designs, um, a little bit more expensive, but it offers the patient a little bit more simpler, simpler of a fitting process because it doesn't require as many follow-ups typically to find that quote-unquote perfect fitting lens. Um, and then for very advanced patients with uh, very unique shapes of eyes, uh, these typically can contour the eyes a little bit better. So after going through all of that, what is the care process for scleral lenses like? Um, so as far as the care process is concerned with scleral lenses, um, we, we recommend patients come in yearly to have their uh, fit checks done. Um, uh, once, the, once the patient's uh, lenses are finalized, um, you know, a lot of changes can happen to the eye. We see sometimes patients' shapes of their eyes and vision can change quite rapidly over the span of one to two years. Um, so yearly coming in to make sure that the lenses are fitting correctly is really important to make sure that they're both safe and working effectively. Um, when we first see patients, you know, we, we go through an extensive training process to, to teach patients how to both insert and remove the lenses successfully and also take care of those lenses. It's a little bit more of an involved process and can be a little bit more challenging than say like a soft lens um, is to, to learn. 
Um, but once patients are able to pick it up, um, it is, uh, it can be, um, just a normal part of their routine and quite, uh, they become very efficient at it. Sometimes I, I get patients in the office that can insert and remove the lenses quicker than I can for them. So, um, that's, that's always really encouraging. Um, uh, as I, I mentioned before, it is a fluid filled lens. So, you know, um, it does require a little bit more dexterity um, uh, for handling the lens to make sure it's well balanced while inserting into the eye. Um, we use, uh, you know, very high quality preservative free um, saline solutions to fill the bowl to make sure that it's both sterile and clean and providing good clarity to the vision. Um, I recommend uh, a high quality uh, uh, product like Lacquer Pure which tends to, to be um, very popular among patients to use. Um, for cleaning the lens, I recommend that patients use a product that um, is a kind of more multi-purpose, but gentle. Um, a one product uh, like um, Unique pH or Boston Simplus can be very uh, um, useful for not only rinsing and, and uh, uh, sterilizing, but also conditioning the lens to make it more comfortable before putting in the eyes. Are there any complications that can come from wearing scleral lenses? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, as I kind of touched on before, um, you know, the patient's eyes can change over time. Um, typically, you know, if we're working with um, patients who have their uh, the front uh, more of an irregular shape that that irregularity can change with time and so sometimes uh an initial lens does not fit as well two or three years down the road um so ensuring that you know the lens isn't fitting too tight or too loose will really offer patients uh the best uh comfort and vision throughout the day you know, um, sometimes patients will, uh, if it's an inadequate fit um, and too uh, steep of a fit uh, on the landing zones, then it can feel kind of scratchy for the patients uh, when wearing. Um, also, um, if the lenses are a little bit too loose, um, you know, a very common problem would be fogging of the lens throughout the day. Um, you know, um, <clears throat> If the edges are too loose, it can kind of vacuum fluid and uh, mucus or protein debris into the bowl of the lens, clouding vision. Um, with patients who have a lot of inflammation uh, on their eyes, they can also collect the, the same debris on the front surface. So um, sometimes, uh, you know, uh, these patients will need to continue with other treatments to control some of there, there are other problems going on as well. And, uh, you know, these scleral lenses can be used as a great tool for treating dry eyes, but kind of with, within a collection of other treatments as well, it, it works more effectively. What would you recommend for your dry eye patients with inflammation or eyelid debris who are wearing uh, scleral lenses? What does that process look like? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, you know, every uh, comprehensive exam, um, we're, we're, you know, doing an extensive case history with patients to determine a back history and determine what, what problems they do have. We're, we're upon, you know, our microscope inspection of the eye using a slit lamp. We're, we're making sure that the lids and margins are looking very healthy, making sure that there's not too much inflammation or blepharitis there, or uh, obvious signs of allergies there affecting the eyes. Um, uh, every patient needs, uh, you know, a more tailored um, uh, treatment to their eyes. So there's not just one treatment in general, um, but uh, you know, working with your your primary care doctor for your eyes or a contact lens specialist is very important to make sure that your eyes are being taken care of. Um, there are, uh, you know, uh, in offense, ty uh, typically we'll, we'll recommend um, a high quality preservative free artificial teardrop. Um, this could be like Ibizia or Ocusoft um, uh, products, which I, I've recently started uh, using myself and, you know, th they have some really great options there. 
um, you know, lid cleaning wipes, hot compresses, all that can be very helpful for use, uh, for controlling some of that inflammation caused on the, uh, from the eyelids and the eyes as well. So how often do patients need to replace their scleral lenses? Do they get a new set every year? Is, is it when the shape of the eye changes or their vision changes? Uh, is there like yeah. a specific mile marker? Or I mean, can this one set of scleral lenses be good for three or four years if their vision doesn't change? How does all that work? Yeah, and it, it, you know, typically that's a case by case basis. Um, it, you know, our our goal is to have a, a scleral lens last at least a year or two for the patients. Obviously, we want to be checking at that year mark to make sure that the eyes haven't in fact changed and the lenses are fitting safely and effectively. Um, I have colleagues that have been able to stretch their scleral lenses for seven years and without much problems. So. You know, provided the lens is still functioning well um, and is clean, not um, causing any obvious problems, the lens can be can be used very, uh, you know, uh, very well off into the future kind of thing, which uh, which also brings up, you know, a, a benefit of these lenses over other lens, uh, specialty contact lenses. There's some specialty contact lenses like um like scleral or, or sorry, hybrid lenses, which uh, are both a gas permeable lens in the middle with a soft skirt around, um, which because of that soft skirt design need to be replaced multiple times a year. And um, so typically I'll, I'll fit uh, patients who need a specialty contact lens and a scleral lens before a hybrid lens, just based because they're able to get more bang for their buck with, with wearing sterols. Nice. That perfectly leads into my next question. What tips do you have for scleral lens wearers? Um, yeah. Um, so one of my uh, big tips is uh, try not to use wa tap water for cleaning your lenses. I've, I've, I've seen some horror stories uh, out there, you know, finding a really good regimen for cleaning your lenses is really important because that's going to make you more successful for both wearing that lens more comfortably and maintaining um, good vision throughout the day. Um, if uh, you have any questions at all, um, it's really important to reach out to your um, eye care provider. Make sure that you know um, you, you're not waiting until that year mark to let them know if the, a problem does arise. You know, um, eyes can change over time. Um, and us as contact lens specialists, we're pretty good about um, help, helping out our patients and making sure um, we're there for we're there for you. If there is a problem, we want to hear about it so we can we can uh, ultimately help you better. Well, doctor, thank you so much for talking with us today. It's really been a pleasure. <laughs> we got to learn a lot about scleral lenses. Is there anything else you want to tell our audience before you go? Yeah, so uh, the uh, you know the technology available nowadays is is vastly different than it was even twenty years ago. If you've you've tried scleral lenses in the past and haven't maybe been successful, or you've tried other contact lenses and uh, had troubles wearing them, um, even if you have uh, you know unsatisfied vision uh, concerns um, in in glasses. There, there are other options available for you that uh, might might uh, might work better. Um, until the advent of, uh, like we discussed, the impression designs, um, you know, even prism correction um, for double vision wasn't was only available in either glasses or having surgery done. Now we have, uh, you know, a lot more options with correcting with contact lenses. And, uh, you know, the, the possibilities are kind of uh, endless. So if you do have any questions or you uh, would like me to get you in touch with a contact lens specialist, um, I'm, I'm available. I'll leave my information and uh, feel free to, to email or text me through social media. Thank you so much, doctor. It's truly been a pleasure. All right. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it.